Hello, I made a detachable collar for my new blouse using the collar pattern of my floral shirt waist. If you saw my last two videos, you saw me make collars, so I'm very sorry to keep you bored. I hardly had any cabbage left. I tried and tried again to place the pattern pieces on the scraps of fabric. The fabric was yarn dyed and striped, so I didn't have to bother about mirroring the pieces. I needed to cut two of both pattern pieces on the fold. It was important to match the stripes carefully because the pattern had to be symmetrical on the collar. I should have made the detachable collar somewhat bigger than the collar band of the blouse so I could breathe freely, however, I didn't have enough fabric for that. My only option was to use smaller seam allowances. Fortunately, the pattern included half an inch seam allowance, which usually is too much for me, so I gained quite a lot of fabric there. I made the four color pieces a bit wider because I have a long neck and I like tall colors. As the four color pieces, I didn't have real right or wrong sides as the fabric was yarn dyed, otherwise you match the right sides. I sewed them together, leaving the top curve open. I clipped the corner, making sure that when I folded the seam allowances, they didn't meet. I turned the collar to the right side. I didn't like the way the seam allowances could be seen, but at least they gave the collar a nice structure. Then I discovered a defect in the fabric on one of the stand collar pieces. The only thing I could do was to use this as the inside of the collar. I matched the edges of the fore collar to the marks on one of the stand collars. Right sides should face each other. I basted them. I started basting from the middle to make sure I made it even because the curve of the fall collar was slightly longer than the curve of the stand collar. Before I basted on the other stand collar I drew a line along which I was going to stitch. After basting all layers it would have been more difficult to draw this guiding line. Again I started basting in the middle. The ends were rather difficult to hand stitch because I had to use my right middle finger to help hold the collar instead of pushing the needle. I notched the curves of the ends, I didn't remove the basting thread because the fabric wasn't sheer. I trimmed the allowance. You have to deal with a lot of fraying when you hand stitch because you handle the fabric a lot. I checked whether I needed to trim the allowance shorter. I didn't, it had to create a nice shape. With time, the corner of the allowance of the full collar inside the stand collar would have poked through the defect in the fabric, so I decided to clip it. Of course, to keep the collar symmetrical, I had to do it on the other end as well. I clipped the allowance at the bottom to reduce the thickness of the corner. I folded the allowance of the bottom and matched the edges. I used to top stitch here, however my dislike for top stitching keeps growing, so I decided on an invisible stitch. I picked up quite a lot of thread just under one edge, then just under the other edge and I kept alternating. Without the camera it went very quickly.
You can do the same without pulling out the needle all the time. By using a smaller seam allowance, I managed to make the stand collar taller than the collar band of the blouse, so it wouldn't show. I marked the buttonholes, I needed one on both ends. I made one in the middle of the stand collar as well. I ended up with a loop with a knot. I simply cut the loop and went on stitching. These collar studs aren't a pair, but when worn you can't tell as the one in the back will be hidden under the four collar. In the center front altogether there are 8 layers of fabric. I never use interlining because I don't think it's necessary. You can make your blouses more versatile with different detachable colors. Yes, I do have a slight choking sensation but I find it easy to get used to. Also, the many layers of tall colors trap a lot of heat. As I'm extremely sensitive to cold, I'm only happy about that. 